Hey, my name is Alex Haney and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to thrift for outdoor stuff as well as showing you guys some of my favorite finds. People always tell me that they're bad at thrifting, they can never find what they want and they're always super jealous of all the awesome outdoor gear that I found at thrift stores for insanely low prices. So I'm going to share with you guys a really super easy system that I've developed for finding outdoors gear or just about anything you could want used secondhand at mostly at thrift stores but this also can apply to online stuff like Craigslist. It sounds super dorky but I think of it in terms of four P's. Okay so let me break this down for you guys. P number one. Planning. This is the number one thing that I feel like people do wrong when they go to the thrift store. They walk into the thrift store expecting to find something awesome but they don't really know what they're looking for or where to find it and they walk out with nothing feeling disappointed or they walk out with something kind of subpar and they think that that's how thrifting is. My number one tip is to keep a list of exactly what the gear is that you're looking to find and the more specific you can be the better. I have a list and I always keep it in my car and the reason you want to make it specific is that you don't want to feel like you're compromising you want to look for exactly what you want or pretty close to it so have in mind you know specific details about the item you're looking for, you know, like certain brands you really like, certain materials you want, certain features that you don't want to compromise on um, so that you'll walk away feeling happy. So for example, you guys know in my other videos I've shown I have a lot of mountain equipment co-op stuff, but I rarely buy stuff new from them, especially clothes. It's helpful to also, you know, at least keep in your head, if not put it on your list to where in the store you're likely to find that gear. and that tip is going to come in handy in a little bit. It's helpful to know when to look for this kind of stuff. There are certain times of year when people are going to get rid of the stuff you're looking for as opposed to be searching for the stuff you're looking for. So it's always, you're always going to be more successful if you look in the off season for stuff. So you know when winter's nearing an end, you know that's when people get rid of stuff. So I wanted a pair of Keen sandals for canoe trips, got them. I wanted a pair of bug proof pants for camping. I found exactly what I was looking for. These are pants made by the Bug Shirt Company. They have elastics around the ankles and a little stirrup. They're awesome for bug season. I wanted a huge Gore-Tex jacket with a hood so that I would be able to have something to put over my big bulky winter layers. P number two is patience. Basically the thing to keep in mind with thrifting is that it's not like regular shopping. You're not going to walk in and find everything you want right away. It's really a patience game. And don't be tempted to if you know you've been waiting a long time for something to show up that's what you want and you know you find something that's almost there but kind of subpar. Uh, you're kind of on the fence about it. That's the time when you're not going to buy it because chances are the next time you show up that item that you really wanted is going to be there and you will have wasted your money. So if you can get by with waiting, um, if it's gear that you don't necessarily need right away, again that ties into my one of my previous tips is that it's best to shop in the off season so you're not, you don't feel in a rush to get exactly what you need and you're more likely to find it as well. So. This is a Mountain Equipment Co-op rain jacket. This ties into the planning and patience part of it. I waited over six months to find this jacket because I was really specific about what I wanted and my patience paid off and I found it. On my list I had a rain jacket but I had some some things that I really didn't want to compromise on. I it had to have these pit zips here. I can't, can't survive outdoors without those. And I had to have, most importantly, all these different adjustments for the hood. So it has some here and it has some on the back of the head. And why that's really good for me is that um, what kind of annoyed me about my last rain jacket is that when I turned my head like that, um, I would be looking into the inside of my hood. Okay, so P number three is persistence. With thrifting, you're gonna wanna go as often as you can and most of the time, you're gonna expect to leave empty-handed. This is where kind of the last two tips all tie in together because with your plan and with patience, you should be able to go to the thrift store fairly often, you know, if it's within a reasonable distance from you and it should take no more than 10 minutes to get in and out of there to check for the stuff that you really want. So you'll have your list, You'll know exactly where to look for the stuff you want. You'll know when you'll be most likely to find the stuff you want. You'll be able to just beeline it right to those sections 
when it's the best time to look for them and quickly shuffle through the stuff, go to the next section, it'll just become a routine. You'll be in and out of there five, 10 minutes. Just the other day, I had a few spare minutes. I ran into the thrift store and I had been looking for down stuff for quite a long time. It's, it's pretty rare to find that kind of stuff at the thrift store. And I ended up finding this really awesome down parka with a hood, exactly what I was looking for. One of the awesome things about this coat is that this uh, down part zips out. So even if I don't wear the outer part, I can take this little down jacket out and just bring that, which I probably will do and wear with my Gore-Tex jacket. Here's another down thing that I found last year that will probably be on a lot of backcountry trips with me. This is just a little down puffy that I've brought on quite a few cooler weather trips. All right, P number four is pay it forward. And this is just kind of a personal philosophy that I have. I don't know if I believe in karma or not, but you know, it doesn't hurt. Whenever I have stuff that isn't serving me anymore, whether it's outdoor stuff or just other things, you know, one man's trash is another man's treasure. It's just part of the life cycle of thrifting and secondhand store shopping, you know. Why not help out other people, help the environment. So I'm just gonna show you guys a few more things to show you how awesome thrifting can be and how much money it can save you. This is a 100% merino wool top that I found at the thrift store for $7. I found these awesome Sierra design shorts with a um, buckle belt, which I really love for backcountry. It's pretty rugged, awesome material, really durable, and uh, I think these were about $5. I found my Patagonia Capoline shirt, which I was actually looking at buying new until I found it, found it at the thrift store. I found these Alpine Expedition um, fleece insulated pants. They're awesome for winter camping and just winter activities in general. I found this Mountain Equipment Co-op windbreaker for cycling that I really like. Again, it's got my favorite hit zips right here. And one of my favorite secondhand finds ever was this uh, minus 20 degree rated Mountain Equipment Co-op sleeping bag. This is what I took on the Killarney Trek. So I hope this video inspired you guys to get out there and try your hand at thrift store shopping. If you do go out and try it and you have success with it, I would love to hear about it in the comments below or if you've scored in the past. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll make more of these kind of videos. Be sure to subscribe right here if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time.